everybody, my name is Kemper Luke and I am back and today I bring to you a, another episode in my poor man's elite weapons. Today I have for you the High Tech Eradicator. Now this gun is an absolute beast and I highly recommend using it. It is only an enlisted item and man it's just off the hook man. I don't know how else to put this weapon. Um, just for starters, as you can see on screen. It has a plus one to damage and a minus one to range. Now that damage is going to be on the long range tail end of things. And the range we'll get to later. So as far as the regular Pytech goes, the damage is 35, 35, and 33. Making it a three to four shot kill. Now the Eradicator variant is a 35, 35, 35 which means it is always a three shot kill. So technically the minus one to range has no effect on this weapon because no matter what, it's gonna be a three shot kill even across the map. Now this variant is the only Pytech uh, variant that has a plus to damage. Now the range for the regular Pytech is 42 feet at me to medium range and then from uh, long range is 116 feet plus and then for the eradicator is 42 feet at medium range and then long range is 99 plus but guess what once again the range actually doesn't matter since this is always a three shot kill now the ammo for the Pytech uh, eradicator is the same as the regular base which is 100 rounds with uh, another 100 in reserve, so 200 rounds total, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I had to go that one off my head. Anyway, uh, it does have a headshot multiplier of 1.1, so you can do some extra damage with headshots. Now, for the recoil on this weapon, if y'all don't know, that the first 12 shots fired out of the Pytech is kind of crazy. He has tremendous recoil. But after the first 12 shots, it becomes an absolute laser. Now the rate of fire for the Pytech and the and the Eradicator is 631 rounds per minute, with it being 789 rounds with rapid fire. As far as attachments go, optics are a must. I think the, this weapon no matter what on the Pytech has the worst optics known to man there's too much crap in the way I mean just look at that it's normal so I highly recommend optics definitely a must and especially if you use a uh, red dot sight it does add a bonus one to your accuracy now I also highly recommend a foregrip to handle those first 12 shots of recoil so you have so you can stay on shot much better with those first 12 shots. And then my third, I highly recommend you take a third attachment with this weapon. You don't have to, you can just run with a foregrip and optic. But I like to run three on this. And I either I switch back between the two. The first one's the rapid fire, because oh my god, you just melt people, man, no matter what, with the rapid fire. Or if I feel like being stealthy, I go the silencer because once again, the silencer does not hurt the range or the damage of range on this weapon. It is always a three shot kill, so you can run a silencer with no problem and no worries. And if you want to feel like being crazy, you can run four grip, rapid fire, and a silencer and skip the optic altogether, but I highly recommend you use an optic. So every now and then I just like to change things up. So there it is. That is my review for the Pytech Eradicator. Now, as you can see, I'm doing some beasting on this uh, gameplay here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And I'll get back with you at the end of the episode.
All right, everybody. Thank you for enjoying the show and how I was kicking some ass on here. And if you hadn't hit that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe if you're new. And if you're one of my subs, and if you are one of my subs, hit that like button, smash it, pound it with your face, whatever you got to do. But as always, show me some love, show me some hate, but show me something. Either way, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out and happy gaming, people.